I drew these and I put water droplets with watercolor. Super duper fun. This is, it looks complicated. Did this over here. Kind of like my clouds. But this is super duper easy. It looks complicated. But once you learn the technique, it's not so hard. Um, this is done with watercolor and it looks 3D. It's about learning contrast and light. And very simple. Anybody can do it. I want to encourage you, if you do art, to use your artistic ability for God's glory. And not your own. God gave us different gifts and talents to serve others, to serve him, serving others. And you can use your art to put a scripture and give to somebody and it will minister to them. And it will make God's word stand out in their brain and their heart. In their heart. And it'll, it, because it's handmade art, it will really attract them and really help them get scripture in them. Um, God can totally use your art, and you should also teach others to do art, because you carry God's presence, and just teaching others to do this will minister his love in their soul, and his presence, and, um, also as you're teaching how to do art to others, you can share, um, different spiritual truths, like... <coughs> The word of God. <clears throat> it's like living water. Right? Water refreshes us. It cleans us. You can talk about how his word. You can come up with scriptures to go along with this. As you do a little class on it. Or. You know. Or if you give them this painting. <gasps> you could. Um. Put a scripture about come to the living water, drink of the living water. Talk about how God's word is refreshing. It'll, it'll really stick in their minds. Let's say you gave this to a person who you're trying to draw Christ. Or I would rather say who Christ is trying to draw to themselves through you. You could um, give them the scripture about the living water. And then talk to them how water refreshes and it purifies, like I said. I'm saying it again. And <coughs> and because of your painting, it'll really stick out in their mind. It'll really capture them and their attention. You can even frame it and give it to people. Alright, just wanted to share that with you and encourage you. And here is an up-close video. So you can really see how on earth I made these literally, literally water drops pop off the paper in three dimensional. You could do this. You out make an outline, a thin outline. I use a Princeton liner brush number 10. Love that one. And you put white highlights, a little bit of green. A little bit of in the water droplet have a light 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 green and also a light 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 lighter area and um it looks three one of these days i'm gonna do a really good tripod tutorial on how to make this yep super good super fun you could do it you could do it and then i put a little highlight around it to make it like like a shadow you could totally do this you could create your own unique flower or leaves or whatever you want for little water droplets it's gonna be beautiful